press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Namaste children, welcome back to the classroom. In the previous class, we will learn about the term conservation of the water. See, we have been discussing about the chapter water. See, in which we learned about the, in the previous class about the conservation. Conservation of water. And also, we learned about the different ways which involves in the conservation of the water and the next one is we will also learn about the term rain water rain water harvesting say conservation of the water is nothing but the protection of the water see various different ways will be present and from this ways, if we follow these ways, means we can conserve the water. And uh, see, due to increase in the population rate, the scarcity of the food as well as the water will be takes place. And uh, we can use uh, this water by the following ways. See, like that we have to avoid the wastage of water and growing of plants will be more if we grow the plants more and more we can minimize the uh, scarcity of the water and uh, we have to plant such a uh, trees like uh, which uh, do not require uh, more um, amount of the water and uh, there are different ways will be there we can minimize the wastage of the water and also uh, we learned about the term rain water harvesting see in today's class, we will start about the term rainwater harvesting. See, in the previous class, I told about the definition of the rainwater harvesting. Once again, I will tell you, rainwater harvesting is nothing but the collection of the water on the surface on which it is uh, on which the rain falls, and uh, it is used for storing, and later it can be used for future use. And this is nothing but the rainwater harvesting. The process. of the process of collection of rain water it is one of the process of collection of the rain water collection of the rain water from the surface from the surface on which a rain falls on which the rain falls and storing it and storing it for future use is called as rainwater harvesting. See, rainwater harvesting is nothing but the process of collection of the rainwater from the surface on which the rain falls and storing it for the future use is called as rainwater harvesting. One more definition of the rainwater harvesting is it is a process of the process of collection of the process of collection of rainwater the process of collection of the rainwater
the process of collecting and storing in a container for later use is called as rain water harvesting see what is the meaning of rain water harvesting means it is a one of the process of collection of the rain water see whenever the rain falls and uh, in particular surface we have to collect the rain water for the future use or the later use it is called as rain water harvesting see the definition is the process of collection of the rain water from the surface on which the rain falls and storing it for the future use is called as rain water harvest harvesting and one more definition is there it is one of the process of collecting and storing see we have to collect the water and later we have to store it uh, until we have to use it storing in a container or any tank or uh, any vessel we have to store it for the later use or the future use we have to collect the water and uh, this is nothing but the rain water harvesting see once again i will tell you the process of collection of the rain water from the surface on which the rain falls and storing it for the future use is called as rain water harvesting and another definition is there the process of collecting and storing in a container or any vessel or a tank we have to collect the water that is rain water for the later use is called as rain water harvesting see only few on this small quantity or small percent of water we can utilize a lot of water see there are different methods will be there where the roof roof of the buildings can provided with the pipes and through the pipes we have to collect the rain water in a tank or the storage uh, tank or the any vessel or the containers we have to store and uh, which can be stored and later we have to filter and they we can utilize for washing and for uh, many other purposes see later i will draw the diagram how the rain water we have to conserve or uh, stored and later used see consider if uh, the house will be like that and here the collection on the top of the house see consider this is the home or house on the top of the floor rooftop we have to connect with to the pipe and thereby it is later connected to the container or any things and uh, this uh, through this pipe we have to collect to the storage tank see like that we have to get the rain water and uh, see in the rain water harvesting the rooftop will be present and thereby the water will be collected at the roof of the houses and which is provided with the pipes and there is a continuous passage of the pipe will be present and from this pipe the rain water is collected and passes on the move towards the tank and thereby we get the rain water say it is used for other activities like except for washing many other activities we can utilize this water and this is how the rain water harvesting will be done see in this rain water harvesting there are uh, different uh, techniques will be present we have to store or uh, we have to harvest the 
rain water in which pit pits and tanks will be present see in this uh, step we have to dug the hole or uh, any ground we have to dug on uh, especially the low lying land will be used see low lying land means tegu pradesha we have to dug a hole or we have to dug the ground of low lying land for this purpose that is rain water harvesting we have to dug the ground especially for the low lying land and later we have to collect the rain water by different methods and next one is the rooftop harvesting rooftop harvesting see it is one of the process where the water will be collected at the roof of the houses and later it is continuous passage of the pipe will be present through this pipe the water is connect uh, collected and uh, passes to the tank uh, where uh, the water will be stored and later for many other activities this uh, water will be utilized so i will draw the diagram here see roughly i will draw the diagram where rooftop harvesting we will see see this is the house where uh, the roof will be present at the top of the roof the water will be collected when the rain falls the uh, roof will acts as a collecting agent through the water will be collect collected and through the continuous passage of the pipe the water will be stored in this tank and later it is passes to the storage tank 
and this is all about the rooftop harvesting see once again i will tell you in this system the rain water is collected from the rooftop through the to the storage tank through the pipes we have to collect the pipes connected this pipe to one another in such a way that it is connected to the another tank and uh, last uh, the tank will be present at the base of the ground see below the ground this present see at the ground uh, side this uh, storage tank will be present and uh, thereby we can collect the rain water and uh, see in this system the rain water is collected from the rooftop see from the rooftop to the storage tank through the pipes through the pipes we have to collect the rain water and uh, later this water may contains the soil particles see sometimes uh, the soil particles will contains the rain water since the roof will be present the soil particle any dust particle will be present and along with this water the soil particles will uh, comes uh, through this pipe so that we have to filter and later we have to use and uh, instead of collecting the rain water in the tank we have to collect it to through the pipes which goes directly to the pit in the ground see in the pit in the ground we collect the water in this rooftop harvesting and uh, this then seep into the soil for recharge or for refill the storage uh, tank in the ground so this is all about the rooftop harvesting see in which say rain water harvesting is nothing but the collection of the water for future use it is called as rain water harvesting see there are different techniques will be present for the rooftop harvesting in which first we have to plant a pit and the tanks first we dug the low lying areas we have to consider a low lying areas and we have to dug on the ground and we have to make a um, store it acts as a storage tank and later now the next technique is the rooftop harvesting see the water when the rain falls on to the ground this will collects in the into the rooftop of the house and thereby the through the pipes the water will be continuously passes from one place uh, from one tank to the another tank like that um, this uh, water which also contains the soil particle and dust particle and it is not unfit for drinking purpose so that it will we if we uh, used for drinking purpose then we have to take precautions again is this uh, water see for uh, boiling the uh, water and uh, to filter we can use it for this water for drinking purpose and uh, see uh, the water will be collected uh, in the rooftop and thereby it is passes through the pipes and thereby the uh, sand or dust particle will settle at this portion and later it will stored in a storage tank so that it is utilized for other activities like washing the cloth washing the utensils and like that different activities except the drinking purpose and this is all about the rain water harvesting see advantages of the rain water harvesting next we shall move on to the advantages see in which first advantages is the the advantages of the rain water harvesting see it is very important phenomenon that is rain water harvesting there are uh, several advantages will be there uh, in this one by one we will learn now it reduces the wastage of the water see whereas the conservation of water we have to 
uh, avoid the wastage of water see here it will reduce the wastage of the water it reduces the wastage of water see rain water harvesting will reduce the wastage of the water next one is the it helps in the storing of the water for uh, and which can be also directly used for many activities except for the drinking it helpful for storing the water see the rain water harvesting it helps for storing the water and uh, for other activities like washing the cloth washing the utensils for planting more and more trees we have to utilize this water and next one is the it helps to prevent the water logging of the drains it also used for recharge the ground it also helpful for the recharge of the ground or uh, recharge ground water or refill see recharge is nothing but the refill the ground water and also it is used for improves the water table improves water table see water table is nothing but the water of a particular place is nothing but the water table the level of the ground water of a place is nothing but water table level of the ground water of a particular place is called as water table see these are the different types of uh, advantages of the rain water once again i will tell you see advantages lot of advantages will be present only few i will return on the board see in which first one is the it reduces the wastage of the water rain water harvesting which uh, reduces the wastage of the water and it helps for storing the water and uh, later for the other activities for other activities like washing the cloth for uh, washing the utensils for planting the trees water is essential and this stored water will be utilized for these activities and next uh, recharge the ground water see it will uh, recharge is nothing but the refill the ground water this rain water harvesting it is one of the advantage and next it improves the water table see water table is nothing but the level of the ground water of a particular place is called as water table see these are the different advantages of the rain water harvesting see next we shall move on to the imported terms which comes under this chapter water see one by one i will write on the board water vapor see what is the meaning of water vapor uh, many times i used while saying the different terms water vapor is nothing but the gaseous form of the water is called as water vapor gaseous form of water is called as water see is called as water vapor see it is the gaseous form of a water is called as water vapor next one is the ground water ground water see what is the meaning of ground water the water which is present below the earth crust the water below the earth crust
and above the rock is called as ground water see what uh, ground water is nothing but the water which uh, below the earth crust and above the rock is called as ground water see it is a water which uh, present below the earth crust and above the rock is called as water ground water next one is the water table water table see water table is nothing but the level of the wa water at a particular place the level of ground water level of ground water of a place is called as water table see also many times i told the definition about the evaporation see evaporation is nothing but the process of conversion of the liquid water to the water vapor is called as evaporation liquid conversion of liquid water to water vapor is called as evaporation and also condensation see in the preced preceding section i told about the definition of the condensation see in this lesson also the term condensation comes so i told the definition of the condensation now condensation is nothing but it is a reversible process of the evaporation see where the water vapor is get converted into the liquid form when it comes in contact with the cooling substance is called as condensation see these are all about the different points which comes under this chapter and see water vapor is nothing but the gaseous form of the water is called as water vapor and uh, ground water is nothing but the water below the earth crust and above the rock is called as what ground water next one is the water table the level of the ground water of a particular place is called as water table and next one is the evaporation it is nothing but the process of conversion of the liquid water into its vapor water vapor is called as evaporation and usually the evaporation is a very slow process which takes place in the environment and through this uh, process a water cycle will be continuously uh, happening and next one is the condensation see condensation is nothing but the conversion it is a process of conversion of the water vapor into the liquid form and uh, when it comes in contact with the cooling substance or the cooling surface this condensation process will be carried and this is all about the different terms which comes under this chapter see in the next class we will learn about the another chapter thank you